Well, the time has come to say goodbye to Grandma and Papa. And she gets to see her room for the first time. Oh my! So, what are you playing? I'm pretending I'm in a war. Hmm. Did you win? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Ouch. Hey, buddy, you got school today. You got to go get ready, okay? Okay. Okay. I want one more shoot at you. <laughs> okay, go get ready. How's this movie? Good. Well, another project today is moving the girls' room. We're gonna bring in a queen bed and let them try sleeping together. That's what they wanna do. Okay. Laura just got home. Do I have a new room? A new bed? Do you want to come check it out? Yeah. Come on. Come on. A new bed. Do you like it? Yeah. You have a new dresser. Here's your new dresser over here. Yep, we're gonna get curtains and blankets in here really soon. I can't sleep on it too. <laughs> now what's next? We gotta move all of the clothes into the dresser. <gasps> Who's that? Goosey, it's Goosey. What did we get? Right. Flowers for me. They're for you. <laughs> Flowers for Laura. Are those for me? Well, they might, <laughs> they might be for be, your mom. They might be for our family or Janae. So I just got the most beautiful flowers and the sweetest note, and it's not signed. I have no idea who it's from. So thank you, mystery nice person out there, for these beautiful flowers. Those are gorgeous flowers. I love how bright they are. I love that pink one, Smuskus. What are you wearing? Papa shoes. You're wearing Papa shoes? Uh-huh. Wow, you look good in those. They look easy to walk in. Grandma and Papa are packing up to leave us. <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah. Can I have one? Of what? What are you talking about? What? Where is it? Where's what? took my pick. <laughs> <laughs> Today is our first kind of back to real life morning. The kids had school this morning and I had to get up and take them all and we barely made it on time, but we were on time and that's what matters. Kind of traumatized as my parents are getting ready to go. I'm like in denial about it. No, don't leave us. Are you eating goldfish on the floor? Mm-hmm. Cool. That's the floor and this is the kitchen. Oh, this is the kitchen? Nice. I'm glad that was swept and mopped yesterday. Thank you, Mother. You're welcome. She cried some on the drive, but not too bad. But not too bad. All right, well, we made the bed just with some old sheets and this old comforter. We're honestly not sure how it's gonna work to have the girls sharing a bed. They want to have the big bed, and since we had the queen bed available, we were deciding to let them try it. These are the girls that try to get into our bed in the middle of the night, and so there's a piece of me that wonders if this is gonna actually work really well because they can sleep together and not sleep with us. 
but sorry, my nose itches. Um, so we do have plans in a couple weeks if this is working well and we're gonna keep this bed up here, then we're gonna buy them this cute little girl bedspread and some curtains and get this room all set up. But for right now, while we're in experimentation phase, sorry, my nose is still itching. <laughs> um, we're just using this old comforter. I don't remember what I was saying. Every time we're trying to buckle into a car seat, a bouncer, a swing, something is already buckled in. Who did that? Me. Mm. It's usually a baby doll. This time it's a monkey. So normally you have one hand full because you're holding the baby and then it's like, ah! <laughs> It's every single time though. It's really cute. No? How's the juice box? Okay. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. So Elise just got back from her school and she gets to see her room for the first time. Oh my God! <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of your dresser? This is for sure going to be my treasure spot. Treasure spot. Where are my pajamas? Someone knows your treasure spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> so the kids' school had a special grandparents' day today, and it was awesome because my parents are still here to actually be able to go to it. And each of the kids got up with their class to perform, and at least tell them what you said. This was your line. Drippy found more friends in the sky. Their names were Rocky, Splashy, Rainy, and Dewey. They all joined together and formed one big cloud. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I had fun for you. And I was a cloud. You were a cloud? Mm -hmm. And right when I was done, I just moved back. Oh, you did it just like you're supposed mm -hmm. to. And I practiced a few times. Good job practicing. Looks like Janae wants. Something. Something. So my parents have been here for three and a half weeks and we have not taken a picture of us all together. So we are attempting that now. One or more of the children might be struggling with that. Um, and we'll see how she does. Hi, Janae. Well, a friend brought us dinner tonight. They brought us pizza. Yum! There's even a dessert pizza. pizza. What did you say? I love pizza. I love pizza, but not salad. I do, but I don't. You do, but you don't love salad? But I really love pizza. What are you watching? Dora. Dora. Dora is currently entertaining Laura. Well, the time has come to say goodbye to Grandma and Papa. Hey, buddy. So proud. Good to see you again in a few months. You're doing so good. Goodbye. 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 No growing. I expect her to be no, chubby. At least. Mm. She's going to be chubby, chubby, She's chubby. She's going to change mm. the Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Papa. Oh. This one's going to change the most. Yes, she says goodbye. She says thank you for keeping my family sane. I think I heard her say that. Yeah. <laughs> love my parents so much. You okay little girl? It was just nice to have them here. They're our friends and we love them and <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Let's try that again without a little squirmy baby. Jeremy just took Janae. She just needs a diaper change. But anyway, I just dropped my parents off at the airport and I teared up as I was leaving. I just love my parents so much. I'm so grateful that they came and they helped us in such amazing ways. Like seriously, I'm floored by the service that they gave to my family and the love that they have for us during this difficult transition time of our life. But more important than their service and the things they actually did for us was just having them here, feeling their love, having their company, their friendship, you know, talking to them and dreaming with them and laughing with them and I'm just so grateful to have such wonderful parents. Like honestly, when I think about it, if Jeremy and I can become even somewhat of the parents that they are, and they, they didn't stop parenting us when we grew up. Like 
I'm just amazed at some of the ways that I still need my parents in my life and how much I'm still learning from my parents. They've been married for 30, 40 years. I don't know how long, I'm 33, so longer than that. But it's just been amazing to see what I can learn from them and their service and their sacrifice and their humility and their work ethic and the things that bring them joy and watching them teach my children about their testimonies of Christ. Like that's just a beautiful thing. Like I'm grateful for generations and family. Like we need each other. I need my parents and my kids need their grandparents and I'm so grateful to have them in our life. Thank you so much, mom and dad. We love you. Good night, Jay Hassap. You guys made a mountain of pancakes. Well, it's time for Janae to get back.